Hi everybody, welcome to my crowded shop space. I'm here today to show you something a little bit out of the ordinary for me. Product sponsorships and reviews isn't really what I do. You know, I camp, I hike, I show people beautiful things in the outdoors. But as part of camping, having a power station is a very handy thing. And I've had a little 500 watt a solar generator that served me well for quite a number of years and it does have its limitations. Now I've had a lot of companies contact me wanting me to sponsor and review their products and I've told them all no, but Blue Eddy was a little different. This is a product that I believe in. It's a company I believe in. They offer a very good product at a reasonable price. And when they contacted me about their brand new Blue Eddy AC70, I said, yes, I'll give it a try. Now, bear with me. You know, this is not something that I normally do. And I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to show you what this thing is. And then we're going to take it out into the field and use it. All right, let's do an unboxing here. Right. Let's see about this. It comes very well protected. All right, up top, we're going to have the adapter cables. Owner's manual. Got this wrapped up in a plastic bag here to protect it from moisture. Oh yeah, well, you know, they're not light. All right, try it this way. First impressions, I like the size. It has a carry handle here in the back. Not too bad. Just guessing, maybe about 30 pounds or so. Got a nice compact package. The Blue Eddy AC70 Portable Power Station is designed for travel and adventure needs. It has a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter a 768 watt hour LIFE PO4 battery. So it's got all of the power that you're gonna need for charging your gadgets like your phones, your laptops, your car refrigerators, you know, even your little air conditioners. When you need even more power, it has an innovative power lifting mode that'll tackle all of your higher resistive demands up to 2000 watts which is perfect for things like hair dryers or kettles or other heating appliances. It has a turbo charging technology and you can enjoy the convenience of an 80% charge in just 45 minutes, a full charge in one and a half hours. So let's hit the power button on this thing. Okay, so fresh out of the box, it comes with 34% power. I'm going to have to plug that one in here so I can power it up to 100% before I take off. So I can do that while I'm packing up the rig. So it's got your DC inputs over here, basically your cigarette lighter adapter sort of a thing, 12 volt. So there's your input for the charging, uh, 12, or I'm sorry, the, that's the 12 volt DC PV input. So your photovoltaic or charging from your car's power port. And then there, it's got two USB-A 12 watt ports, two USB-C 100 watt ports, two AC output ports. All right, so let's plug this in and get it charged up. 
All right, so in addition to the battery bank, Lydia also sent me 200 watt solar panel. So let's get this thing out of the box. Now this thing unfolds a little bit bigger than the space I've got here. It's a cloudy day outside, so I'm curious what would happen if I took this thing out, plugged it into the generator, let's see how many watts of power are coming into it from a cloudy day. All right, let's see what happens here. So we have the DC input right here. Four watts, three watts. You know, it is charging, but that would take a very long time to charge it on a cloudy day, wouldn't it? All right. So, curiosity satisfied, let's go plug this thing into an AC power source so we can charge it in a hurry. All right, so let's see about this. And plug it in. All right, let's see how many watts of DC input we've got coming on here. Well, okay. All right, so now you can see that we've got some AC input coming on at 440 watts. That's more like it. So it's telling me at that, it's going to charge it in 1.1 hours. All right, time is currently 11.10. I've got some things to do. We will come back in an hour. All right, holy crap, folks. It's been 10 minutes. It's gone from 34% to 89%, and now it's telling me 0.1 hours to complete the charge. Holy mackerel, talk about rapid charging. This blows my old 500 watt unit out of the water. Okay, it's been a half an hour since I first plugged this in. I've been off doing some other things. 99% is that. How sweet is that? All right. So it won't take very long to finish off that charge. And I am going to pack up and we're going to head out and we're going to try this thing in the field. We're out on an overnight camping trip. So we're about 20 miles back up Forest Service Roads from Highway 101 outside of Yahats and Cape Perpetua. And I'm in my yurt. And it's raining. Let's go inside. Come on, Summit. Come on in. There you go. Good girl. All right. So the glamping setup. Dog bed, my bed, kitchen, complete with the refrigerator, power bank, pots and pans, food, water, chair for sitting. All right. So this power bank right here, the Bluetti AC70. I've got two things to power with it for this trip. My ice co refrigerator. Now, this is something that came as part of a package deal with something else I purchased. I've never actually used this before. So, we're going to find out together how much uh, wattage it draws. And then I've got this LED light strand here, this rope. All right. So, let's see what we've got. Let's power on. We have a 100% charge. All right, so let's turn on the AC, and that's the lights over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to have to change that setting. I'll bet that's burning steady. 
Okay. My AC output with those lights, it's not even registering. Those are really efficient lights. Okay. Uh, but I have used a percentage point. All right, so the DC input. Here's what we're going to do. Let's turn the DC on. All right. And let's turn the refrigerator on. Okay, let's set our temperature here. It's 57 in the ice box right now. Let's set it to, say, 45 degrees and see how it goes. So the DC output is drawing 28 watts. And at that rate, it would last 16.6 hours. And those lights don't draw a thing. <laughs> to speak of, anyway, nothing that registers. So once this thing reaches temperature, we'll see that number go down. All right, so the load test continues. All right, so my refrigerator has shut itself down at 41 degrees. So that used up about, well, I guess it was at 99 when I first plugged it in. So it used up 4% of battery life. So we shall see, now that it's reached temperature, it probably won't be kicking on and off a whole lot, as chilly as it is outside. We're going to go with my phone charger. Nine watts. All right, let's see what's going on here. So we got seven watts that is being pulled by the phone recharging and 90% on the battery doing pretty good. Tells me I've got 31.4 hours left at that usage. Okay, well, let's check in on it in the morning and see what it looks like. Good night, everybody. Okay, so this Blue Eddy's been running for about 20 hours now. So take into consideration it is cool outside. It's probably in the mid-40s temperature. That could shorten battery life. I know it will on my phones. Also consider that 12-volt cooler is way bigger than I need for just a weekend. So let's check in. About 20 hours worth of use. It has used up 40% of the battery. So, you know, that's not so bad. It um, is plenty adequate for a weekend trip. And, you know, I get myself a smaller cooler and I'm sure it could easily last a week. So adding an addendum to the end of this video here, Blue Eddy is having a sale, the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, continue through November 27th. And you can go to their website and you can save up to $2,400 on selected products. So an excellent opportunity to get really good deals on a really good product. So head over to the Blue Eddy website and check out their smoking deals. Blue Eddy has also offered me a very special deal. They are offering to give away one of the Blue Eddy AC70s that I just reviewed to one of my subscribers. And all you need to do is drop the word Blue Eddy in a comment. Now, show me something creative. Don't just say Blue Eddy and that's the end of it. And I will choose one at random for the free gift. Now, it's important to know that Blue Eddy will not contact you directly. I will be the only one who contacts you. And if I see anything suspicious, I'll remove it. And I don't want anybody falling for a scam. All right. Be careful out there. I will be the only one who contacts you and you'll know it's me. All right. Anyway, until next time, from my tiny cabin. 
take a hike. Be blessed.